Yes, sir, guys. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What is going on, guys? What is up? It's Preacher Man Sports. Welcome back to another video. And the Dallas Stars, this team right here, have defeated the Seattle Kraken in seven games. I knew this wasn't going to be an easy series. I knew this wasn't bread and butter, you know. And this series kind of had me stress out. And I'm going to go game by game, you know. And, you know, who was the best, like, tone setter, X Factor, you know. And I'm going to go game by game. Let's start with game one. Game one was in Dallas. Joe Pavelski scored four goals, but Stars lose five to four in overtime. Yanni Gore scored the game winner. In game two, the Stars win four to two in that game. Series is tied 1 1. Then game three, I think. Um, game three, the Stars get killed. Jake Andre's worst performance in his whole career. Um, Stars lose 7-2 to two in Seattle. Seattle leads 2-1. Game four, Stars win 6-3. to three, And series is tied 2-2. Two, two. Game five, back to Dallas. Stars win 5-2. to two. Stars take the series lead 3-2. to two. Then game six, back in Seattle. Seattle um, takes out the Stars 6-3, to three, and they force a Game 7. And then in Game 7, yesterday, sorry I'm late, I had busy stuff to do, and, you know. Um, game 7, it would have been Stars win 2-1. to one. It would have been 2-0, to zero, but Seattle scored with 17 seconds left. I think it was Oliver Bjorkstrand that scored it. But the two goal scorers were Rope Hintz and our rookie Wyatt Johnston. So I'm so glad that this team, that the Stars are picking up the pace, you know. And, um, yeah, I got Tyler Sagan. He didn't do anything in the series. I don't think he scored. I don't think Sagan scored a goal in the series. But last series, though, he was scoring left and right. I think he had four goals in the Wild series. But this was a great series um the tone setter in this series i can't say jake andre because he didn't play good that many times in the series but the tone setter in my opinion was joe pavelski because he had four goals almost every game he had a goal but another tone setter obviously rope hints um and to keep in mind that the stars like this is crazy how last a coaching change really changed the team they didn't really do much in the off season only getting guys like mason marshman who scored a couple goals in this series he's been doing fine in the playoffs surprisingly well not surprisingly but still um they got colin miller that's really it the only thing they did in the off season was and then called up wyatt johnston and then um we traded for domi and evgeny dodonov but this was a great series, Game 7. So now we're off to face Vegas Golden Knights. They're going to have home ice advantage. And turns out this, you know, this is a rematch of 2020. You know, Vegas is going to probably win revenge. There's a lot of storyline because we took them out in 2020 in the Western Conference Finals in five games. Dennis Gurionov in Game 5 sent us to the Stanley Cup Finals. But he's on Montreal now, so I hope he does well there. He just wasn't as good. He was kind of a bust. But I still like Gurion. I just didn't live up to it. Then there's last year. You know, Stars basically ended Vegas' season last year, and that's hence why they didn't make the playoffs. And another thing, our coach, former Vegas coach from last year, Pete DeBoer, and he's going to want revenge. But this is not going to be easy because Vegas, they have a lot of veterans. They're like us. They're like our counterpart. They have a mixture, but we have younger guys. They have a lot better veterans like um, Jonathan Marsha Soul, um, Alex Petrangelo. Um, they traded a couple guys themselves, like getting Ivan Barbashev. So this isn't going to be easy. They have goaltending. Aiden Hill, I mean, Vegas has good defense, but their goaltending, if you get in their face, I think you can get to them. But it should be a good series. Um, GG to all the Seattle Kraken fans. I'm pretty sure, like, um, Knight, he's a Kraken fan. So, GG to him. And this upcoming Vegas um, series, there's a couple Vegas fans, like Unknown and Steph Curry. 
So hopefully those guys, good luck to you guys. But I'm sorry, the Stars, we need to get this to get back in the Stanley Cup because this is our best chance yet. And also, Jamie Benn and Joe Pavelski need rings, you know. And hopefully... I can see this team win a Stanley Cup because when they won the Stanley Cup, I wasn't alive. They won it in 1999 when they defeated the Buffalo Sabres back in Mike Madonna days. And the last time they went to the Stanley Cup, you know, they lost in six to Tampa. And that was in the bubble. So, you know, hopefully this team brings the Stanley Cup to the Dallas, you know. I want to see a Stanley Cup because I feel like that's the only, that's the only like, well, college, but that's the only like major sport where I haven't seen my team win a championship in because I've seen the Dodgers win in 2020. I've seen the Broncos win in 2016. I've seen the Warriors win four times. And it's now it's left as the Stars. So hopefully this team right here keeps it going. I'm probably going to drop a video on the Vegas Golden Knights preview. So make sure you hit the like, comment, subscribe, guys. And I will see you guys later. And peace out. And remember, go Texas hockey. Go Stars.